Today in our 2014 Toyota Sequoia, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the current custom fit front mount trailer hitch receiver with the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Its part number is 31198. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like installed on our vehicle. You can see where our side plate is going to come down here on each side. We've got our square crossbar. Of course, our receiver tube opening here in the middle. Now this is the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, so it's gonna work with a lot of your class three style accessories. It also has the flush style reinforcement collar around there, which can give it a nice appearance. Now, with front mount hitches, your typical applications are gonna be sometimes people like to use them for snow plows, maybe a front mount witch if recovery is what you're after. People also will put cargo carriers or bike racks up here and use them to, to haul stuff around back and forth. And something that I really like for them, uh, you put a ball mount in here and if you have a trailer that you need to get in a tighter spot or something, this can make it a little bit more maneuverable and make that a little bit easier job to do. Now as far as weight ratings on our hitch go, we've got a 500 pound tongue weight rating. That'd be the maximum downward force that we want to put here at the receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that would be the total weight of our trailer or anything that we were to load up on it. Now our hitch also gives us a 9,000 pound straight line pull rating. So that would be the total force that we could pull forward away from the vehicle on our hitch. Now you'll see our hitch installs right in between the frame and the factory tow hooks. Just gonna remove these two bolts, sandwich in, be in between and tighten it back up. So it's a really nice, easy installation to do. And just so you have a little point of reference, from the bottom of our tow hook here to the bottom of our hitch, it's about an inch and a half. So overall with the ground clearance, you're going to lose about an inch and a half. So you want to keep that in mind. Now a few measurements that may be helpful when you go to select your accessories for your front mount hitch will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 12 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about eight. Now to begin our installation, if your vehicle has this skid plate, it's kind of a steel skid plate here on the bottom. If it is equipped with this, we're gonna take it down and we need to enlarge this hole. Uh, that's where your, your oil filter is located inside of there. And if you don't enlarge it, once the hitch is in place, you can't really change your oil properly. So here across the front, we've got three screw heads, one, two and three with a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to back those out. Then in the three larger holes that go across the back here, so this one, this one, and this one, there's a 12 millimeter bolt in there we need to remove. You'll need a short extension to be able to get onto it. Then in the larger holes across the front edge here, we've got one right here and one right here. We've got the same type bolts. So we'll get those removed and take down our skid plate. Now we're going to be enlarging this hole right here to the four inch. Uh, to give you a frame of reference, this would be the rear of the skid plate. And you'll see there's a wider area that comes and narrows down. We want to be just in front of that on the driver's side. We're going to be using a hole saw to enlarge it. This area has a double layer of steel, so I would go a little more off to one side. Our hole saw has to have a little bit of steel to make contact with, so we're going to go off to the side of it there. Like I said, I'm using a hole saw, but you could also use a hacksaw for this. You could use a cutoff wheel, whatever you had handy. Now we're gonna clean up this edge because you are gonna be sticking your hand in and out of there and you don't wanna get cut. Now we're gonna use just a little bit of black spray paint or undercoating, whatever you wanna use. Just kind of touch up that edge, that way we won't have to worry about rusting. Now we'll get our skid plate put back up into position. Getting a bolt started here in the back, a good way to kind of hold it in place. 
Now that all of our fasteners started, we'll get them snug down. Now we're going to use a 17 millimeter socket. We're going to pull out the two bolts holding the tow hooks on on each side. This is going to become the attachment point for our hitch. Now we'll repeat the same thing for the driver's side. Now with the help of an extra set of hands, we're going to get our hitch lifted up into position. We're going to be sandwiching the side plate between the tow hook and the frame as we put it up. Just get our holes aligned. We're going to use our existing hardware. Just get four or five good turns on one side and then we can get our other side started. Now our hitch does have a little bit of adjustment side to side here, so it's a good idea just to take a look at your skid plate. Just make sure it's centered with the bottom of the receiver tube there. Once we've got that where we want it, we'll snug down our hardware and torque it to the specifications and the instructions. With our bolts torqued down to specification, that completes our installation of the current front mount trailer hitch receiver, part number 31198, on our 2014 Toyota Sequoia. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.